creating freeform shapes, creating a sphere. Now, that we're in our 3D model, we go over here to freeform. We hit the down arrow and we go to sphere. It's going to ask us to select the plane for the sphere. I'm going to pick my XY plane. And now it'll ask me for the radius. I'll say, oh, I want a four inch radius. Then it says, how many faces do you want? I'll go with four and four, and I'll make everything symmetrical here off of all the axes. Now it'll ask me to specify the center. Now when I do this, I'll pick zero, zero, and it creates a sphere for me. Now it's a freeform sphere, it has these different faces that we can manipulate or edit later on. And I don't have a whole lot of faces here to deal with, but um, let's go back and put more faces in. I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to go back and do this again. I'm going to pick the XY plane. I'll pick, say, 4 there. Now I'm going to pick, say, 12 and 12. Now i got a lot more. And if you're familiar with AutoCAD, this when I pick the center of the circle here. This is really mesh modeling in AutoCAD. It's the same technology brought over to uh, Revit, I mean to Inventor. And now I say OK. You'll see I have all kinds of faces to manipulate. So I have all these little individual faces. I can push, pull them, extrude them, etc. I can split them. Uh, so there's many ways of manipulating and editing these forms. Uh, but we'll do that later. So now all I got to do is finish the freeform and I have my sphere, my freeform sphere.